Tonight on Marketplace, Jack Nicholson. Jack Nicholson, what's he doing on our show? Well, he's been dying to get on Marketplace. He phones up every week, and tonight, believe it or not, he's selling a potential pollution-free fuel for our cars. Wouldn't it be great if someone came up with a cheaper fuel of limitless supply? Well, in California, some businessmen claim they have. Let's hear their story. One of the people with money in it is pretty well known to most of us. It's Jack Nicholson, all right. And the car he's driving is unique. It's a standard Chev with a standard engine, but what makes it unique is there's no gasoline in the car. It's running on hydrogen, and the hydrogen was produced by solar power. And this is the first demonstration. Just like a standard Chevy, and I backed it up because, you know, <coughs> the last time the automotive industry tried to destroy a, an independent industrialist, they said a Tucker wouldn't back up. Remember that? Yeah. It's going to be harder to put this car down. This hydrogen-powered vehicle did back up, and it went forward. And this was last week in California. And the news cameramen were more intent on the car than they were on Mr. Nicholson. An engineer explained how it worked. The gasoline facilities out of this car. They are not there anymore. This line goes into a carburetor. Now, this carburetor is very similar to the one that is in your car now, except that it's been altered to handle uh, hydrogen gas rather than uh, uh, a mist of gasoline. Uh, if nothing else, of course, this will revolutionize suicide. Instead of carbon monoxide poisoning, you'll just get a steam bath. <laughs> Water. This uh, change in process right here that you see coming up would take 58% of the air pollution out of every city in the world. Uh, I would say that a shift in in the oil uh, economy might change some of the politics of the world at this moment. There are a lot of very good things that can come from using the power of the sun. Power of the sun. They claim that these small cells are the key. They aren't on the car. They'll be at the hydrogen production plant. These are prototypes, but they work. They're made of a silicon compound, and they're like small batteries. They absorb the power from the sun, and they produce electricity, and the electricity is passed through water to produce hydrogen and oxygen. And when the hydrogen is burned in the car engine, water is formed again. Silicon is the second most common element on Earth. And these developers, the Solar Hydrogen Development Company, own a silicon mine. And they plan to cover 16 acres on the Nevada-California border with silicon solar cells and produce enough electricity to run factories, to heat and light homes, and of course, to power those hydrogen cars. They say they'll be able to do it for a quarter to half the cost, about the same as if you were paying 35 cents a gallon for gasoline. They plan to set up hydrogen service stations, not owned by the oil companies, where you'll pull up for a fill-up. The hydrogen will be combined with metal in an inert white powder, which makes it explosion resistant. And pollutants are almost negligible. There's no carbon monoxide, sulfur gases. Any engine will run on it if it's modified. It all sounds wonderful, perhaps too good to be true. But if it is, you saw it first here on Marketplace.